Can you hear that rain? This is UK summer. I have no idea whether this will work, but it'd be interesting to see whether what I think will work, will work, or whether it won't. So what is the problem that I'm trying to solve? On JDM cars, it seems that when they're cold, on a cold start, there is a stumble um, as the car's warming up. Very noticeable. My Forester SCI suffers from it. The previous Forester SCI suffered from it. Legacy GT suffered from it. JDM um, Impressors suffer from it. So when the cold, there's a noticeable stutter or stumble, generally not for very long because Subarus warm up really quickly. So it's that initial bit. And because it goes quite quickly, it's never really been a, a massive priority for me to actually solve the issue. But I promised that I'd look at it. I don't know why the camera stopped recording then, but there we go. So I'm gonna try my best to resolve the situation. I did try and wait for it to stop raining, but I'll be waking, waiting weeks. <laughs> it just seems to rain here all the time at the moment. So what was the first thing that I did to look at solving this issue? The JDM cars suffer from it. The UK cars don't seem to suffer the same issues. So a good place to start is to compare the JDM and the UK maps, just to see whether there's any differences in the, um, in the maps that could explain what I'm experiencing or what you're experiencing when you're driving your JDM cars. So I'll just load up a UK SDI map versus my Forester SDI map just to see whether there's any noticeable differences between the maps that I could maybe um, copy from the UK side to the JDM maps that will actually resolve this situation. So I've got within ECU Edit, which is the software that I use for um, editing most of the maps, um, I've got my current map here and a UK Impreza STI map. So I just want to look at the differences between these two, particularly in this area here of the warm-up enrichment, because it feels like it's not got enough fuel. It feels like it's um, running a little bit lean on that cold area, just from initial start through to maybe two, two minutes down the road. So it's a very small window, which is why it isn't that annoying, but it is annoying. So if I look at the two, so we have the primary base enrichment map from the UK SDI here. And if I get the comparable map from the JDM or from my JDM Forester SDI, you can see that there's quite a big dip in this mid range here compared to the UK SDI, which is almost a straight line from 60 degrees centigrade to minus 40. Whereas on the Forester SDI, there's a massive dip here, which could explain it. So what I'm gonna do, just to make it really easy to compare, is just blend that line down there. Just a nice straight line um, to see whether that makes enough of a, of a difference to actually resolve this issue for good. I'm not expecting it to work completely, but if it does work, fantastic. How, how easy a, a fix is that? So what I'm gonna do is save that, pop it onto the car, and um, you know, car's stone cold. Obviously a crap day today, lashing with rain. So I'm gonna take it for a drive and see whether it still has that stumble. Right, while I'm looking at these maps, I've, I've noticed another couple of maps in here, that were another couple of tables that are also got that same sort of dip in, in, the, um, in the fueling. So I'm gonna smooth those out as well. Um, there's primary enrichment two, start one A, according to my XML definitions anyway. And um, they may, might be labeled slightly differently depending on what your ROM ID is. Um, but I'm just gonna smooth those out as well, just to get rid of this little dip in the in the cooling up period so if we bring so just smoothing this out a bit so that's 1a
table for 2A I think should look the same so I'm just going to copy that and bring that all into that map and there's some weird stuff going on within other maps as well but I'm not going to touch those at the moment just those 1A and 2A just smooth those out I um, don't want to make too many changes um, because then I won't know exactly what solved it um, so I'll make these three changes to these three tables flash it on the car start it up go for a drive see whether it's fixed it and if it has fantastic and then I'll just take out one or two of those just to see whether I can identify the map if it is one map that's made the difference so if I save that and then I'll flash it onto the car Helps if I plug the cable in. So I've got my Tatrix cable into the OBD port and the test mode connector cable in there as well. So I pop it onto test mode, pop the keys in, ignition on, and we're away. takes a while to get into the, the map to start with checks what's in the file that I'm trying to flash on against what's in the memory of the ECU to see whether there's any changes and it will then write those changes only to the to the ECU in the car so quite a quick process like 45 seconds or so or maybe maybe a minute but anyway quite quick Right, so that's done, ignition off, test mode connectors off. So all that remains now is to start it up, take it for a drive, see whether it's feeling better. Hopefully it will. So because it doesn't last for long anyway, it's gonna be a very short drive. And if it doesn't work, then I'll have to do this again tomorrow because it won't, won't be cold enough. Right, so let's go for a drive. Right, I've gone 100 yards down the road and already that feels quite a bit better than it normally does. So, I think I'm on the wrong, on the right lines there. Okay, result. <laughs> well, who'd have thought that would have been so easy? that would be stuttering if I tried to give it any half throttle or quarter throttle not that I should do that from cold but normally it would be st stuttering stumbling whatever you want to call it hesitant so warm-up enrichment tables seem to be the issue obviously I've just made some really simple changes there the other tables could probably do with being smoothed out just to make them all pretty much similar yeah so I think that problem is as good as gone maybe not 100% gone but certainly 90% better oh god our roads are absolutely appalling not all ROMs will have the same definitions but you will see an obvious dip in the warm-up enrichment tables 
which if you can smooth that dip out forget the absolute values that are in there but if you can smooth the dip out around the temperature that you're seeing the um, the stutter or the stumble the hesitation then it's going to go a long way to solving the problem thank you for watching